Um, I feel the standard of the Mr. Olympia uh, is not what it used to be. The whole thing's diversified. You've got all these different categories and classes and everything, but the Mr. Olympia, the pure bodybuilding itself, um, you had three guys there that, you know, I guess they were pretty close. Uh, there was two guys in, in what I would say pretty good shape, you know. They were in, they were in good shape, but they're quite small. Two guys. Yeah, um, William Bonac. Okay, second. And um, a guy from Iran. Hadi Chopin. Yeah, I don't couldn't pronounce his name. Uh, very good and in good shape, but they're smaller guys. Mm. They're smaller guys, and so Brandon won it, I believe, because he got more stature. He's bigger. It looks more like a Mr. Olympia, but he wasn't in incredible shape. Um, so I think it was probably one of the weaker, so weaker Mr. Olympias that that we've seen. What do you look at when you look at this? I'm curious, like your eyes, yeah. where does it go first? And then where does it go? Because uh, when I look at okay. you know, the average person looks at it, it's like, oh my gosh, this yeah. guy's a beast. What do you look at? Well, he's got very um, good fullness, good roundness to the muscles, and no really noticeable weak points in that, in that pose. But he's lacking deep separation and conditioning that used to be the norm in the Mr. Olympia. The conditioning part. Yeah, the conditioning is, and that was is what's lacking these days. And was between you and uh, Kevin Lavron as well. Would you agree with that? Where some of the times he would show up pretty full, yeah. but he wasn't Yeah, as Kevin had a great physique, but he, did, he wasn't consistent in coming in. You know, sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't, but he wasn't consistent in coming in that kind of shape. So you see the fullness, but you still don't call this to be fully cut up or conditioned? No, you wouldn't put I'd this probably that be level. like in that shape around about six weeks before the contest this so i would consider still you. yeah i would still consider this is six work weeks in progress you. work to do so this during your era with the, the guys competing el sombati yeah. you know all the guys that were running at that time ray cormier all those guys how, how would today's body do during that time um brandon curry this physique he definitely wouldn't place in the top six he wouldn't place he wouldn't in the top place six in the, in the top six no why do you say that? Is it purely based on the conditions? You guys were more because disciplined than today. I don't know the reasons. All the, all you know, all the facts.